Hey guys, Holly here and we are bringing you to the Adelaide Four Wheel Drive Show. Today we have Elsie on display. This is our last day here, but there is another day tomorrow. But we thought we'd take you for a little quick walk around of the show itself because there were a lot of people who couldn't make it here this year because of restrictions and border closures and whatnot. So first we'll take you around the other content creators that are here in the content creator hub. And then we'll go for a quick wander around the show before it opens, before we get too busy. <laughs> So here's Elsie on display, uh, if you told me a year ago that Elsie would be on display at the 4 Drive show in Adelaide, I wouldn't have believed you, that's for sure, but it got a lot of attention, I think it's just a pretty unique car here at the show, lots of really nice 70s and newer cars getting around here, but I think Elsie's a little bit unique being an older car, so we have a few little show specials going on, we've got some shirts here, Overland Travellers, we've got the decal, we've also got the track cred over comfort all printed so we'll probably have a few of those spare after the show if you want to grab those we could probably do a show special or don't take my word on that holly nodded yes <laughs> we're doing it <laughs> we've got we've got the approval all right we'll go around to some other content creators i feel like a little news reporter paul from camping down under morning how's it going not too bad mate not too bad how was your sleep last night better than the night before we pulled down the gazebo, um, didn't have to worry about the wind, it was a lot better tonight. Alright, well tell us about what you do on your Instagram page and YouTube YouTube channel. Yep, well I've always loved camping, uh, but about two years ago I decided why not start sharing my experiences, so I started up Camping Down Under on Instagram, um, and everyone's been really enjoying that, So, I've, but I've also really wanted to help people, so I decided last year I would use my skills as an accessory fitter, start a YouTube channel, and start showing people how they can make their own rides, um, rather than paying someone else to do it. Um, it's easy to I might yourself. pay you to do some of mine. I'm sure I could help you out. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> but, yeah. Airbags? Airbags, yeah. Cheers, airbags. mate. Give us a hand with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, product reviews, um, everything else, and that's been going quite well. So that in November, and people are really enjoying that too. Awesome. Well, you'll have to check out his stuff. It's Camping Down Under on on Instagram and YouTube, Sam and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, unreal. And it's good to see someone else cruise around in an old Hilux. My, yeah, best Hilux ever made this one, LM106. <laughs> they are great. All right, we'll continue around and have a look at what else is on show. All right, moving into uh, this end of the content creators. Yeah, they're gonna run away. How are we, mate? The Sidetrack Boys. How are we? How you going, mate? How you doing, mate? All right, would you like to introduce yourselves and just tell us a bit about your channel and what you guys do? Yeah, well, it's Nick and Mark. Um, Sidetrack Australia, basically document our, our travels on and uh, post them on YouTube um, and obviously Instagram as well. But yeah, pretty well just overlanding across Australia and trying to get to some remote places. Yeah, no, these boys have done some unreal trips. Air Peninsula recently, love your snow trip in the Vic Highlands you did, Cape York, uh, and they've got some really quite high quality videos. I think yeah. you boys are pretty out there in that regard, which is, yeah, it's good to see. Um, I've got a question for you. If you could have one other content creator or influencer's vehicle, whose would you have? That's a damn good question. Mark, go for it. I can't... Um, just... Yeah, there's a lot to choose from. Off the top of my head, probably Nick's Patrol. <laughs> wow, there we go. Where are we? There we Sorry. go. Sorry, well, Mark. I, so I, uh, I can't say the same for the Jeep. <laughs> Purely on reliability. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Aren't they great? Uh, they're interesting. Yeah, right. uh, it's a tough one. There's a lot of Land Cruisers. Um, I really, really like and old vehicles. Um, so GQs even, and you know, 40s and 45 Land Cruisers. Um, you can say mine, mate. It's beautiful. When you were rolling in yesterday, I'm just, uh, it's just it's good to see. I love seeing old vehicles. Yeah, well, just make sure you keep that thing if you're going to get an old... Well, you already have. You have your old G60s. Yeah. So having, I think, both in the sheds the, uh, the way to go. That way, when you get sick of, sick of one or the other, you can just jump in the other one. So that's it. All right, so no definitive answers then. Maybe just an older vehicle? Older vehicle, yeah. All right, and your, your brother's patrol. Yeah, right. Fair enough. So if you could have one content creator or influencer's vehicle, whose would you have? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> nah, there's way too many good ones to choose from. Our Hilux. Yes. Yeah, one. Yes, that'll do. I'll, yeah, definitely. <laughs> With the cracked tent on top and everything? I'll, I'll take it all as it is. Oh, fantastic. No, yep. seriously though, who's, who, what would you go for? Oh, I hate to say it, probably Sam. I, was, I love that setup of his car. Oh, it's, it's a beast. Yeah, nah, I do like that. He's got the power and the camping setup. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely, he has it pretty sorted out, but yeah, and it's just unique as well. Big V8, big supercharged V8, and just obviously on the patrol. It's, yeah, it's an unreal, unreal rig. All right. That goes so nice on the beach. 
Yeah, yeah, a bit, probably a bit better in the sand than uh, <laughs> the old uh, L motors in the Luxes. Yeah, a, bit more, a few more sand hills than ours. Yeah. All right, well, cheers to that. We'll keep heading around, see if we can find anyone else to um, attack. Here we've got Josh Pfeiffer from 79 Series. How are you? So tell us a little about your page and sort of what you, you do. My page is about my car, really, 79 Series, which we use as a family to explore Australia. I have to admit, you, you nabbed a very, very good name for your Instagram page, 79 Series. It's, uh, we was, Holly and I were commenting, like, well, that's, that's good just getting that generic, just you've got the 79 Series page, so, yeah. and you've got a very nice 79 Series. Yeah, I just happened to, I don't know, get in before 79 Series cars took off, really, I think, so. You was... had it before it was popular, hey? Well, yeah, it was May 16, so I got the car in, I probably got the page in, like, early 2016. Yeah, you so, did jump the gun there, uh, yeah. right before the boom, hey? Yeah, people weren't really highly modifying these things back then, like Ronnie Dahl and, I don't know, there would have been one or two others probably yeah. fully kitted out for touring back then. Yeah. Oh, it's unreal in these past, what, three or four years, the amount of stuff, the amount of engineering that's been done on these things is unbelievable. I mean, you got J-Max, you got Mark's four-wheel drive doing the portals and everything, so there's some yeah. absolutely insane stuff for these things, hey. If you've got, you got the coin to spend it, hey. Yeah, you can go to town and when I put this thing together, I had a big list of things that I wanted on it and got the first price back and went, oh, I might have to dial it back <laughs> a little bit. Um, but prices since then have gone pretty ballistic with all the mods as well and, and the list of things available is just bigger and bigger so oh uh, well at the end of the day i think it's it's definitely not money wasting like you use it and you know you probably love it and you're going to keep it for for ages so yeah lots of memories to be had in it that's that's the way i sort of justify spending money on four-wheel drives anyway definitely. so i've got a question for you yep. if you could have one content creator or <laughs> influencers vehicle whose would you have oh. <laughs> I want, say say yours, <laughs> I want to say yours, mate. I want to say yours. We've been you talking can say, about You this. can say mine, mate. You can say mine. <laughs> no, I do love the old troopies and I've always wanted one, so I'm very jealous. I said I'm up for swapsies. I'm up for swapsies. <laughs> Just putting it out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Keyless yeah. entry. That's uh, fancy. Keyless entry, yeah. Ours is keyless. If you, yeah, it's pretty easy to break into in that well, regard. Not so, bad for a <laughs> <truck>. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, it's pretty nice. All right, we'll keep heading around and uh, we'll check a few other things out. Cheers, mate. All right, so we've got Mark from Hoon TV here, and he's got his. Uh, oh, can you even call it an 80 series anymore? Uh, it's called Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. Yeah, Very it was apt. An 80 series. Yeah. So tell us a bit about it. Uh, owned it for about 12 years. It's uh, had 600,000 Ks on it. Loved it to bits, as every Land Cruiser owner does. Uh, just big lovable old thing. And then uh, with the YouTube channel, had Burson Auto Parts um, want to sponsor and support a vehicle I was doing. And I, they said, what are you working on? And I said, oh, I've got my Land Cruiser. I've had a few crazy ideas with that. And pitched the idea of turning it into a panel van. And that happened. So, so what's under the hood, mate? Uh, it's got a six litre LS engine in it, sort of out of a VE, uh, sorry, VF Commodore. Yeah, right, and it's had a little bit of a tickle, has it? Uh, it's got a VCM cam in it. Other than that, it's pretty stock. It's got advanced headers and a three and a half inch exhaust, but um, it's all going through Regency Park and getting engineered, so I've got to sort of keep it reasonably tame, but um, we'll sort of see how it goes. But yeah, I mean, the car's sort of designed to be street legal, and that's a big part of the whole thing. On Even though it looks crazy, it's sort of... It's designed to pass all the emissions, pass all the suspension, everything like that. So, yeah, yeah well, I'm just really looking forward to driving it. That's the main thing. So, what have you built it for? Is it sort of a bit of a track rig or is it just something to sort of, I don't know, a bit of an odd street rig or...? Um, I guess mostly just enjoying, really. Like, it, it's really surprising to drive. It's super smooth and easy to drive, but um, I've got a big trailer that I drag my motorbikes around in for bike racing and stuff like that, but just road trips, hanging out with people, going to events, and probably won't do too much crazy full driving because I don't want to really sort of ruin it just just yet, but um, I wouldn't mind doing a bit of sand driving and stuff like that because I really enjoy that. So, yeah, but I mean, it's just sort of a great thing to meet people and, and hang out and drive and enjoy, so. Yeah, no, that's unreal. So, people want to check out what you do and sort of, uh, so what are your socials, what's your channel? Just everything is just Hoon TV, all one word, so. Just Hoon TV, yep. yep. 
Easy. I have one question. I've been asking all the content creators. If you could have one other content creators or influencers vehicle, who whose would you have? Yes. Yes. Love a 40 series. Always, always. It's on my to-do list. I've nearly had one a lot of times, but uh, yeah, one day. You know, that that body would fit practically straight on top of that thing. Yeah, but that no, doesn't make a point unless that I've just done all the body work on that. Yeah, it just but... means I have to build a whole other car. It's <laughs> a good excuse, really. Yeah. Good excuse. Yeah. All right, cheers, mate. Thanks very much. No worries. This is David from Dash Off Road. All right, you want to come over and show us the nav? Come and have a look at it. And then we'll probably just get you, get you to tell us a little bit about your channel and your Instagram page and what, the mad ideas you have with this thing. David, Dash Off Road. Uh, I like to play with cars and I generally don't leave them standard for long. Uh, I don't do anything professionally, I do a lot of the work myself and... Yeah, we, we know the feeling. <laughs> but I'd just like to have a crack. Um, I do, I should learn to do things a bit better. So this is my Navara, four inch lift, um, diff drop, PSR suspension. Uh, I've done everything I can to make this thing go a bit faster, but it's not good enough. So if you have a look in the back over here, this is what we're going to try and put in it. 5.6 litre uh, VK56 out of the Y62 Patrol and somehow we're going to try and shoehorn that in the front. Don't actually know if it's going to work, but we're going to rip it out and just have a crack. Awesome. Well, we definitely have to keep an eye on that. I'm definitely quite interested in to see, see how that's going to go. Good luck with it. And uh, yeah, it'll be unreal to see. And uh, I think you'll be able to surprise a lot of people with it if you do do put it in. And uh, on, the, on the sand, I think you'll be... Uh, Leaving a fair few people for dead, that's for sure. It'll either be epic or an epic fail. I don't actually know. <laughs> It'll be epic. It'll be epic regardless. Uh, so we've got one quick question uh, for you. If you could have any other content creator or influencer's vehicle, whose would you have? Oh, gee. That's a real... Oh, okay, yep, got it. Um, Dirty 62. So... Um, 600 horsepower, Y62, 4 inch lift, 37s. Uh, there's nothing more that you can do to a Y62 than what this guy's done. Did you say 600 horsepower? Yeah. Not torque, like horsepower? Yeah. How much torque is it making? Oh, pff, heaps. <laughs> All of it. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it rotates the earth, the earth doesn't rotate yeah, on anything. Gosh. Yep, alright. I think it's something like, um, on the dyno it was 290 kilowatts at all four, something like that. Wow. Yeah, great. Well, all right. We can only dream, eh? Yep, well, and you'll see his car on my channel quite a bit too. Unreal. All right, well, we're just going to keep heading around and see if we can catch any other people. Cheers, mate. Yeah. All right, we're going to go for a quick run through the show and uh, just show you some of the things on, on show. TJM over here. And they've got their usual suite of very nice vehicles. 200 here. And we've got a absolute of its nuts 79. I haven't actually had a good look at this yet, but there's been a few pennies spent on it, I'm sure. Love the uh, grey wrap on it. Patriot Camp is over there. It's good having a chat to those boys the other day. They've got their Super Tour and the X3 here today. It's good to finally see an X3 uh, in person, actually, because you can really see the fit and finish. Iron Man. All right, we'll go to the other side. Got ARB over here, and I want to go and catch up with Michael Ellum uh, from Off Road Images and his Mighty 79. So he's the official photographer and content creator for ARB. Uh, good job, but he, but he works hard. So yeah, we'll go have a chat and check out his enormous 79. We've got all the boats and new cars in there, and here we are in the ARB stand. I think they just got enough space this year. But uh, here's Michael over here. He's the Mighty 79. So I'm six foot two, and the, the, the bonnet's up to my shoulder, so it's unreal. Um, yeah, I don't know if you'll be jumping in out of this thing when you're 70 years old, but it's an unreal rig. So it's on portals, by the way, so crazy stuff. And he's got a coffee machine in the back. So we've got Mike Helm here from uh, Off-Road Images, and uh, as I said, he's the official content creator and photographer for ARB, so you get around the country a lot. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, we do, mate. Uh, we've been working with the ARB for 18 years, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, but hard work, yeah. And so tell us about, you got the Sandy 60 uh, on your shirt today. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this is the first 
hot off the press. First uh, t-shirt, it's a handmade one, but uh, we're going to make a bunch of t-shirts and uh, sell them off and yeah, bring something to men's health. So yeah, oh, it'll really be a little bit of a course. fundraiser. Yeah. Unreal. Well, yeah. I'd love to do maybe a bit of a swapsies. I can give you uh, my one of my 40 series shirts and I can maybe grab a Sandy 60. We'll see how we go. I love your 40 series shirt, by the way. And I'm like, oh, cheers, mate. I did the design myself. Yep, there we go. So I was just talking a little bit about this thing before, so tell us a little bit about this. So the Mighty 79 was uh, basically built as a camera truck. It carries camera gear into remote locations and allows us to work remotely. Charge gear, uh, charge computers, make coffee, uh, feed the crew. So the whole driver side is camera. Uh, camera and the passenger side is catering. That's basically how it works. Unreal, uh, bit of a head turner as well. It ended up being that way, but it was never designed to be so much a head turner. Um, I figure at the end of the day, I'm going to make a car look good because I want to photograph it everywhere we go anyway. But it was never designed around that. It was always designed with a purpose in, in mind. And there's a place for everything and everything's got a place and um, it kind of fits in really well. So we've got a three seat conversion in here. There's uh, basically behind my seat is just all camera gear, uh, which moves 80 kilos of cameras forward of the, uh, of the vehicle, forward of the centre of the vehicle. So, gets it out of the rear. Um, I can take you through. Yeah. So, so in here we've got uh, a couple of big film cameras going to the box setup. We've got uh, the DSLRs and lenses and uh, all cleaning products and all that sort of thing go in behind the back seat. Tools underneath as well, underneath the floor, and um, lead shot bags over the other side. But we have a, a, a seat for a crew member, and I'll just turn this down. We've got some hilltop hoods rocking there. Yeah, that's not a standard steering wheel on a 79, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a custom steering wheel from uh, PVS 247. Plus the uh, head unit's the same. It uh, gives us the ability to run all HEMA maps. We've got HEMA maps in the roof, HEMA, HEMA maps in the centre console, and uh, then we've got links down the bottom that gives us full control of everything that's going on. Uh, allows us to adjust our airbags and tyres and things like that, but also turn all the lights on, um, do everything we really need to do. I'm also monitoring all the tyres and we've got uh, different settings for uh, different aggregate that we're driving on. So whether we're driving on bitumen, we can uh, just press a bitumen button and it's set up for that. So if we get a, a, a high inflation or a low infla deflation on the tyres, it sets off an alarm and yeah, it works pretty well. So we got over here. Yes, yeah, so Michael's quite, quite well known for his coffees uh, on the road. I, I know you have quite a few solutions and you don't mind a nice shiny coffee maker, as, as do I. But uh, look, I am a bit jealous, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, look, the coffee, it's a must. You, you can't get good coffee out in the middle of the Simpson Desert unless you take it there yourself. So um, you've heard of the hangry, right? So Holly, does he get hangry? I get hangry. You get hangry, okay. Well. Hangry with food is looked after on the other side, so Gab feeds everybody, that's great. But on this side, um, similar to Hangry, is when people get depressed from not having a coffee or not having a good coffee. So we make good coffee here. Um, you can't have that on big photo shoots, mate, no, so it's no. very important. You want your crew to be looked after. So this drawer setup that we have, this is uh, an MSA drawer, and basically this is a your full size drone. That's your DJI Inspire. Very nice. Yep, with uh, camera set up, four lenses, all the flight monitoring and so forth. On this side, we've got a full lighting kit. Oh wow. Which allows us to uh, light up the, the subjects. Now photography is based on light. Um, I do use natural light, but I also introduce light to you know, do what I want it to do to make things look good. So a little bit of artificial light can uh, actually make things sparkle and yep. yeah. No, I don't. I've seen in your photos, some of your flash photography is the cars driving past and you really get that dust flicking up and nice shine of the paint job. It's uh, yeah, no, you, your work is incredible and yeah, it's pretty inspiring for Holly and I to be honest. Yeah. Nice. Um, look, I have one question for you. If you could have uh, one content creator or influencer's vehicle, whose would you have besides yours? Because I'll be honest, I, I asked the question to myself and I, I said I'd take yours. Out of anyone's, yep. You put me on the spot, mate. Well, this is purpose built and I have to behave in this vehicle because if I break something, I'm working tomorrow, I can't work. So I 
I do tend to, I drive in all sorts of places, but I'm cautious and careful and probably a little bit complacent because it just drives so easily through obstacles and so forth. But I think if I was going to go out there and just borrow someone else's car for a bit of a, a day or a swap for a day, I'd probably be Sam's because I think I'd just go out there and have a fang and just be outrageously stupid and do some stupid things. So Yeah, yeah. Unleash, unleash the ponies, eh? Yeah. Yeah, get it out of my system. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you there. I reckon that would be, well, coming from me, uh, driving a naturally aspirated Hilux and then now a naturally aspirated 2H. It would be nice to feel a bit of power under, yeah, under the right foot. But, um, yeah, yeah, I think you're right there. Yeah. Well, I, I did say your vehicle, but maybe you've changed my mind. Is that right? <laughs> anyway, look, th thanks very much. And, uh, yeah, if you want to check out Michael's stuff, you've got, uh, you've got a couple of pages now on Instagram. You've got off-road images and yeah. off-road image so off builds. Off-road images uh, is, is about uh, what we do as photographers uh, and, you know, nice shots of four-wheel drives out there in the field. But off-road images builds is kind of a little bit designed to uh, be a little bit more um, about the builds and about the cars. It's a car kind of site, so, or a four-wheel drive sort of site. So it's... Um, and we're going to expand on that, but it's uh, doing pretty well at the moment. So things like the Sandy 60 would uh, probably grow more on the uh, build side of the, the page. Um, the off-road images is more of a bit, bit of fun and uh, a bit of photography and so forth. So, yeah. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the Sandy 60 build on YouTube, definitely check that out. It's, it's unbelievable. The attention to detail and just how it ended up is it's so cool. Very cool 60 series. So you've already got this four-wheel drive. Uh, why did you end up building the Sandy 60? Yeah, it's funny enough, uh, I don't need another four-wheel drive. I've got a four-wheel drive, my wife's got a four-wheel drive, we don't need another one, but the idea of the Sandy 60 is that uh, I've always enjoyed and been passionate about the 60 series. So I, I, I think most of the world loves 60 series, and I kind of saw that as being uh, an, an opportunity when I... Was, I've always tried to find one and tried to buy it, but the owners will never sell it to you because they love them as well. So. You, you pull up at a servo and someone said, you see a nice 60 series and you walk over there and say, hey man, would you like to sell your 60? No, not a chance. No one wants to sell them. Well, I've had that problem in my 40. People come out to me and they said, oh, you want to sell it? And I said, no, I just finished everything. So yeah, just let me enjoy it for a little yeah, bit. Exactly. So um, in this particular case, we were doing a, a shoot after the Adelaide show last year. We uh, headed across to WA. We were doing photography all the way. Ended up in uh, Kalgoorlie. Uh, there was a, a 60 series with it spawned up. And I, we were going to Woolies and uh, my wife said, why are you parking over here, right across over here? I said, oh, it seems like a good spot to park. <laughs> and uh, so I started walking off to, towards the shop and she says, oh, I know where you parked here. There's a car with its bonnet up. It's a 60 series, right? It's Sandy Torp. It was a classic G series. And I just went, how you going? Are you guys okay? Everything all right? And all the rest. And, and uh, I got talking to them and they were kind of frustrated with this vehicle that keeps breaking down. and. Uh, as they do, it's an old bus and uh, probably hadn't had enough work done on it and uh, anyway I said, look, would you like to sell it? I looked inside the bonnet and it had a uh, Chev V8 and I went, oh, maybe this is the one, right? Because I always ask people and they say no and uh, I went, would you like to sell it? And we yeah, get perfect timing them. to ask when it's broken down, yeah, perfect yeah. timing. Well, you know, at the end of the day they're frustrated and maybe they do want to move it on. So. Uh, but they turned around and said, look, we get asked this every day and not a chance, we're not going to sell it. There's no way we'll sell it to you. I said, okay, no worries. But if you want to sell it, this is what I want to do with it. I want to make it better than it's ever been. And I want to do a big trip across Australia with it, with, uh, involving a whole lot of people. So let me know. And Pulled on their heartstrings. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but um, making sure that they realised it wasn't just going to be used as a paddock basher, that it was actually going to be restored and, and uh, done properly. And uh, yeah, they found me on the way back to the car. Um, and let me know that they might be interested so they'd give me a call on them and they sold it to me. So the idea of the 60 series though was that uh, there's a, a lot of people in the industry, I've been working in the industry for over 20 years and um, there's a lot of people that helped me along the way and it's been fantastic and probably helped make me who I am now and uh, get me to where I am now and, and I must admit that there's some of these people I've always wanted to tell a story about them. So. I've kind of got this opportunity now where we've got the 60 series that everybody loves and it gives me an opportunity to put these people in the vehicle and take them down the road and get them to tell their story while they're enjoying a trip in the 60 series. So hopefully I can bring some of the stories about these great people to the younger generation to say, hey, these, these people have helped.
along the way. So, yeah. yeah. That's unreal. <laughs> oh, mate, it's, it's awesome to hear, like, you know, a bit of a story and, you know, a bit of an emotional attachment to a car. Yeah. And, you know, they're not just cars and not just four wheel drives. They, yeah, mean a lot more to to people. So, yeah, no, it's, it's great hearing those backstories. Well, everyone that's been involved in it so far have been so passionate and so involved. So, that's. Uh, you can see that in the I'm finished result. Of it. Yeah, really proud. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely go and check that series out, and I can't wait to see it uh, travelling across the country. Yeah, I can't wait either. <laughs> end yeah. of COVID. <laughs> yeah, end of COVID. All right, Michael, thanks, thanks very Matt. much, mate. Cheers. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Cheers. All right. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. It was something a little bit different, but we had so much fun at the four wheel drive show in Adelaide and we can't wait to go to more in the future. If we did meet you there, thanks very much for coming up and saying g'day and seeing Elsie. If you liked the track cred over comfort shirts, they are for sale online on our website now at a show special price. So go and check that out. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet and thanks for watching. Cheers.